Okay, this is AP, AB, and BC. We're doing Unit 1, Section 9. Uh, so basically, this is a, a quick review of the stuff that we've covered and talking about connecting multiple representation of limits. We're just going to bust out two problems uh, to make sure that we can kind of make the connections. So uh, let's start with Example 1. So which of the following, if any, could represent the given situation? So the given situation that we're talking about is two things, right? So number one, F is decreasing. Okay, so, so there's two things we're looking for. We're looking for f is decreasing, and we want the double-sided limit as x approaches 2 to be 3. So we're looking for two things, right? Decreasing and, and the double-sided limit is uh, at 2 is 3. So we're just going to walk through one by one. If I were you, so if you saw this on an AP, you would probably see it as multiple, multiple choice, something where like answer A was 1 and 2 only, and answer B was all 3, and answer C was 1 only, and answer... Uh, D was one and three only and answer E was none of the above or something like that, right? So this is multiple, multiple choice. We're not doing it that way. This is a free response. The advantage to multiple, multiple choice is that you can knock off the easy answers first. So the very first thing I can see with my eyeballs is that two doesn't work. The reason two is going to fail is because although this limit is three, right? That's definitely a three. This limit is very much not a three. Sorry, the, uh, the pen is being a little crazy, but all right, so very much not a three. So two doesn't work, right? Once I know that two doesn't work, now I go ahead and pick the next easiest one. And in my humble opinion, the next easiest one is three. So let's look at what we see with three. The graph is decreasing the whole time. So it definitely meets the first quality, right? So, so, so it is decreasing. Again, sorry that the pen's being crazy, right? And as we look, as we approach two, right? So here's the X coordinate of two the left and right limits are both approaching a y value of three. So uh, the limit is also satisfied. So, so three definitely works. Of the three, the one that I would do the last is the one that requires the most actual math, right? Because I can't see it with my eyeballs. If this were an AP test with multiple, multiple choice, I'd probably be able to eliminate at least two of the answers based on these two results. And then if I couldn't pick the right answer just from that, I would go ahead and simplify, which is what I'm going to do now. So I don't like having a negative leading coefficient, so I'm going to take out a GCF of negative one. Again, sorry, the pen's being kind of ridiculous today. Uh, so if I take out this GCF of negative one, I'm going to get a quadratic trinomial that is going to factor to include an X minus two, right? So what's going to happen is this is actually going to factor into an X minus two and an X minus five, right? Meaning that this is going to cancel. So there's a hole at, uh, at X equals two. And the result is that it's going to look like this. Uh, or negative x plus 5, right? So see how this is a line with a negative slope? That means that my graph is definitely decreasing. It looks like this, right? There is a hole at x equals 2, right? And at x equals 2, since it's going to behave like this, I'm going to get negative 2 plus 5, which would be a 3. So sure enough, the limit is a 3. It meets both qualities. One also works. So my answers are 1 and 3. Okay, let's go ahead and do a P1 and, uh, and that'll be the end of this section. All right, so for P1, I'm gonna adjust my pen for a sec and see if I can figure out why it's being crazy. All right, let's see if this is slightly better, who knows. Okay, so same problem for P1. Which of the following, if any, could represent this given situation? Now we have three qualities here. We have F is increasing, oh yeah, that's not lined up, uh, before one, F is decreasing after one, and then the limit as we approach one is a negative two. So again, I would deal with this piecewise function last because it's just not worth dealing with first. It's the hardest of the options. So first thing I notice, I'm supposed to be increasing before one. So here's one, let's look at the table. These values are getting bigger. So this side is increasing and it's approaching a negative two, right? These are getting to be higher numbers approaching negative two. This side uh, is decreasing because again, decreasing would mean as you, as you go from left to right. So this value is bigger than this value is bigger than this value. So this side is in fact decreasing as you go from left to right. right? These values are getting lower as you go from left to right. And it is also approaching a negative two. So, so this answer does work for sure. Answer two works. The next easiest one to look at is the graph, right? So I see that I have a positive slope before one. So it's definitely increasing, right? So that works, right? Um, I see after one, I have a negative slope of my line. So it's definitely going downhill. It's decreasing, right? But the double-sided limit is not going to be a negative 2, right? Because the limit does not exist, so this one doesn't work, okay? 
If we do the last one, right? So I notice that I have a positive slope, line with a positive slope before one, so that means that this thing's increasing, check. I see that I have a line with a negative slope after one, which means that this thing is decreasing, right? That's what a line with negative slope would look like. So really all I have to do is check the double-sided limit. So the limit as x approaches one from the left of this function is gonna be what happens if I plug into the three x minus five. Well, that's gonna be a three minus five, which is a negative two, so that works. As I check from the right, the limit as x approaches one from the right of this function is gonna be uh, a negative two times a one, which is also a negative two, so that works. So this one also works, and my answer is one and two. And that is our unit uh, one, section nine video.